Many movies <clears throat> and television shows portray behavior which is in direct opposition to the laws of God. Do not subject yourself to the innuendo and outright filth which are so often found there. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. I implore you not to say or do anything of which you cannot be proud. Stay completely away from pornography. Do not allow yourself to view it ever. Avoid alcohol and tobacco or any other drugs, also addictions which you would be hard-pressed to conquer. If you've not read the Book of Mormon, read it. <laughs> I will not ask for a show of hands. <laughs> it is essential for you to have your own testimony, for the testimonies of others will carry you only so far. Once obtained, a testimony needs to be kept vital and alive through obedience to the commandments of God and through regular prayer and scripture study. Attend church. You young men, attend seminary or institute if such is available to you. Cease any unrighteousness. Talk with your bishop. Whatever the problem, it can be worked out through proper repentance. You can become clean once again, said the Lord, speaking of those who repent. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, and I, the Lord, will remember them no more. The Savior of mankind described himself as being in the world, but not of the world. We also can be in the world, but not of the world. As we reject false concepts and false teachings and remain true to that which God has commanded.